Hi, Hi guys. guys! Welcome back to my channel one more time. Today I have my sister Kayla here with me and we're just filming kind of a get ready. Today's Thanksgiving. So if you guys would like to get ready with us and definitely just keep watching this video. I'm gonna start off with my eyes right now. What are you gonna start off with? With my face. Okay, um, and I'm gonna prime my face before I start off with my eyes. So I'm using the Nivea Men um, Post Shave Balm. First you wanna get your hair out of the way. I already have my hair all the way up. I know, it's because I have short hair. I'm going to moisturize my face with my Jojoba Serum. I'm putting a little bit of mattifying primer on my T-zone just to help control that oil throughout the day because we got a long day. I'm gonna put a Christmas tree, dinner. We already ate lunch. Yep, so. With the family. We looked ratchety, ratch, ratch. But it was just like, what? The kids and us. Yeah. My mom. It was chill. Face is so dry. It was mine. Mine's like dry but oily. Like mine's can... like so dry right here. No, I get oily like whenever I put on my makeup. Like oh my gosh, I can feel the roughness. I'm out of the camera. It's because I'm on my computer. I used to not do my eyebrows first, but for some reason I really, really like doing my eyebrows and my eyeshadow first. I'm gonna use the BH Cosmetics or the BH Studio Pro Shade and Define Duo Brow Pencil. It's um a it's a lot thicker on one side and a lot thinner on one side. I don't know how I feel about it. I kind of, I'm kind of just using it because it's what I have right now. So um but it does it does okay. Like it's not my favorite. It's not the worst. So while I let my serum sit, I'm going to be using a lip scrub from Eco Lips in Vanilla Bean. I mean I like it. I just got all up in my mouth. Does it taste good? At least. Uh uh. Cause of the granite. <laughs> she said it. Uh, I like my eyebrows to be pretty like bold. <laughs> it looks so like you can tell. Right? Like... Guys, so y'all know my sister don't live with us no more. Mm -mm. She's off doing her own thing. She's off going to college. Using the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Fix It Serum Mattified Skin. Oh, now I'm putting this one on. This just helps kind of mattify everything. I'm going to put the Porefesh Primer. So I like to brush the inner corner of my brows pretty good and then just lightly comb through the ends to blend them out. Y'all hear crazy noises? My kids are running around like crazy maniacs, okay? I just grabbed some concealer. So since I'm going a little all out today, I'm gonna use my lighter concealer. So I'm gonna take my Tarte concealer in light medium. I'm taking this brush by um, Jaclyn Hill. It's the JA43 brush. So, a story, we went to go pick up some food, and I crashed my car she into um, a pole. She I was reversing, and I hit a pole. It's not that bad. Like, it's just, it just has a little, like, two dents in the back. So, I thought it was going to be worse. I was, my heart was pounding out of my chest. The foundation that I'm going to be using is the Her Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation in the shade F. 10. Um, I do feel like this is a little bit dark for me. It oxidizes, but besides that, I can make it work. Depending on where I have the most like acne, redness, scarring, I like to focus my foundation a little bit more on there. Look, I have no end of an eyebrow on my camera. Do you see it? Like, no <laughs> it literally looks like you have a bald spot. I know. I actually do have some hair. But you just can't see it. For the top of my brows, I do like to use more of a neutral concealer. I'm using the one by Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define in C10. And it's a lot more like closer to my skin tone and it doesn't look so light. What I hate about my acne is that it flakes so easily. My sister has struggled with acne for struggle with severe acne. Yeah, and for the longest time, what are some things people have told you that are the cause? Like just like in their um, opinion. Well, I've heard that it's because I don't wash my face, and I do wash my face. I've used many products to wash my face, and I just have not found the one. Well, actually, I used Curology for a while, and I really liked it. It really did help, like, my acne go down. Like, it didn't take it all away, but it did help, like, reduce how much I would get on my face. We were paying $40 for it. Which, I mean, is quite a bit whenever you don't have money. <laughs> yeah. So, I stopped that, and then I kind of just went to drugstore products. And, and I think with her acne, she just has to let it 
pass. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, you just have to, like, it's kind of like she just has to deal with it. There's nothing really to help her besides, like, curology. You, did you use Proactive or was that Ed one? That was Ed one. Oh. It did help him, I think. Yeah, like, pr but the thing bit. with those things is, like, you have to keep on using them. Yeah. Or your acne comes back, you know? Yeah. So I feel like it's just something that she just has to go through and kind of deal with till it goes away eventually. Yeah. It's a struggle. Um, because I get them really bad whenever I stress out, which is another cause of, like, why I get acne, because I stress a lot. I always break out on my cheeks. It's my cheeks that break out. Um, and my forehead right here, and then sometimes my chin. So, like, right now, I'm dealing with pretty bad acne. And lately, I've been, like, getting it, like, right on the edge right here, and it sucks. And I do deal with a lot of scarring. Another thing that people have also told me is because I wear makeup. Um, that That's why I get acne. Like, I can see why. Because sometimes, like, you break out because of a certain product that you're using. I don't know. I just feel like with my acne, it's just... I don't feel like... I don't know. I'm also really oily. So sometimes that has to do with it. We will get through it. And... You know, you can still look good with acne. I yeah. promise. I'm going to be using Leslie's Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Light Medium. Oh, great. She's taking my stuff, people. She's stealing. Oh, she's stealing. That's what we say at work whenever somebody, like, beeps. We don't say it too loud, though, because, you know, people get mad. Probably going to use this CoverGirl palette right here it's a really really good cover girl palette like i love these little cover girl palettes i also love like wet and wild one They're just some that you can find at the drugstore um ulta i love my jacqueline hill palette so you can go pick those up too um they're really cheap then there's the big jacqueline hill palette which is honestly pretty decent for its size i wish i've done a video like over this palette before um but it's honestly one of my favorite pal palettes to use i'm gonna go in with this shade right here which is a creamier um, kind of like peachy shade and I'm gonna use that to set underneath my brow and kind of just highlight it I use the Maybelline stick foundation as my contour. I'm gonna go into this Jaclyn Hill palette um, Which is ring the alarm and I'm gonna take this shade very lightly Which is called mugshot and I'm taking this brush by essence. It's the eye blender brush so I'm gonna go into that work it into my crease another struggle that I have with my acne is makeup um, like whenever I try to contour or something, I just feel like I look like a disaster because I can see like all my acne. Yeah, that's hard. And it bothers me. So then I think like things don't look good. Mm -hmm. Then I'm gonna go in with this shade right here with this brush. This is the JH31 brush. And then this one's more like a rustic red. Why are they running around upstairs like crazy? Oh, no. I'm keeping this. Die out! And I've been, ever since I did the Kylie Jenner video, I like to bring my shadow kind of like straight here like I showed you guys in that video I don't like to bring it like this I like to bring it like this um, and still I still like to blend it down here I like for the line to be more defined here I am using the essence brighten up banana powder um, I don't use this on an everyday basis but it was on Leslie's thing so I'm using it <laughs> I'm just applying this where I want my face to be brightened. So I'm not applying it everywhere, just where I kind of put my concealer and the high points of my face. Ooh, I, I put way too much shadow on this eye, so now I gotta match it, dang it. So I'm just gonna let that sit for legit like three seconds and then I'm dusting it off because I always feel like I can never bake right. Especially if you're dry, I feel like you can't bake for too long because it'll stick to your dry patches. Mm -hmm. And you can also, if you put concealer on your eyelid, I just kind of like put all extra powder on my lid. Oh, this powder got stuck right there. I don't know how I feel. Dang it. I mean, I probably can't tell from far away. Let me see. Right here on my dry patch. Yeah, I see it, but like you can't tell. Once you have everything on, you won't be able to tell. So now I'm taking a more precise brush, and I'm going to keep this look pretty simple. This is the JH33 brush, and I'm going to go into this darker red 
my whole entire face, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in shade 15. I feel like this looks more like a raspberry once you put it on your lid or on your eyes. So we'll see how it turns out. Deepening up my outer V with this and then I'm bringing it in here as well, just a little bit. I'm going to move on to brows and then eyeshadow. For brows, I'm using the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Retractable Brow Pencil in medium brown. Do you ever get pimples on your eyebrows? Yeah, all the time. Freaking sucks. I'm gonna use a Loli. So Loli, Loli from. So or so I know, right? I'm so sorry. So I'm gonna use this one as my lid color. I'm not gonna cut the crease or anything because I don't know why I feel like cutting my crease just seems so stressful. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna use this gold shade from this palette right here to highlight my inner corner. I look crazy. So Kayla's been teaching me how to sing. Kayla's a really good singer. She was in show choir for what, four years of life? Still played the trumpet for how many years of your life too? Uh -uh. Three? Four. Four? What else did you do? Did you play any sports? I did in junior high. Hi. Um, was I ever good at them? No. Um, but I did push myself to do them. Did cross country in the fall, winter, whatever. And then I did basketball in the winter, I think, track. I did triple jump in the spring. Also did color guard and band my eighth grade year, junior high. Well, I guess my eighth grade year. If my brows don't look good, I will grab a concealer brush and clean them up. So that's just what I'm going to do. So I feel like if I did that afterwards, it would just throw me off. Because I have powder on already. Guys, I don't really like my eyeliner because it's too, like, out. But you know what? We're just going to leave it because I'm tired and I, I need to take a nap, okay? I really, really need a nap. I'm going to be using the Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm using Leslie's. I have mine, but it's in my dorm room. This brush is from Urban Studio. Be using Pukey. So I'm applying this slightly above my crease. And I'm starting from the outside and working my way in. Move. <laughs> nope. <sighs> Did you make yourself some coffee? <laughs> I really need some. I really do. That food made me like want to sleep. Anybody else like get a food coma once they eat like Thanksgiving food and you're just like, huh? <laughs> just, I just, like, don't know what type of eyeshadow I want to go for. Mm. Get mine. Be inspired. Isn't it so cute? Mm -hmm. So cute. I love it. I'm so excited because I'm using this mascara. We got a new tube today. Ooh, girl. I'm excited. Feliz Navidad. Don't know. Feliz Navidad. So this is my favorite mascara ever. It's the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. I always get it in waterproof for some reason because I just, I feel like it holds a curl a lot more. Do you know what I mean? I'm using this shade right here, which is, nobody like knows. It. Hilster? I never tell them the shades in that palette. I'm just like, this one. Okay, well, this one right here. I can't even see. Explain them. What color, What kind of shade is that? This one. It's like a rusty, rusty red, rusty brown. I don't know. Maroon? <laughs> yeah, it's like a maroon, like, red shade. Yeah. Oh, so you're going for my mall. color scheme. Mm -hmm. Oh, so I'm kind of bringing that maroon shade towards the inner. Are you ready? What's under it? Rub off all your words. Don't give up. I'm over it. Get sexy is when I'm coming. You say I ain't fucking. Still look at me, look at me, look at me. Come for my girls, you blind. Daily me right in my yellow on your cheek. Baby got your boots up. Oh. 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 I know. Up in the mirror like, oh yeah. Love my bigger like, oh yeah. When I'm sitting around the cup like, oh yeah. Okay, y'all. Okay, so I'm gonna start on my foundation. I've been wasting too much Dantan because I was almost already done. I'm over like. <laughs> <laughs> Using the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. So Kayla and I both use this foundation. I love this foundation. Do you I like it? it? Like, I love the way it makes your skin look. Um, I like it. It does have a little bit of problems. Like, 
it does kind of show some of my pores like not all of them but some of them and it does like accentuate like your dry spots yeah because it's it's like a mattifying yeah. kind of thing but i feel like it works really good for my face um did you tell them what shade you were using yeah f10 okay i use f12 but f12 is a little too dark for me right now since i'm you know losing my color because it's winter really okay. liking this you okay sponge right here by real techniques um it's been, <coughs> i know it's like limited edition i don't know if they still have this one but i know they like don't make this specific one anymore they do have like solid colors but i love this more than i love the orange, orange one, one for some reason it's just been one of my favorite ones to use so i'm just blending this out all over my face i'm gonna go in with this purple shade right here I'm using the tarte shape tape okay so with this color i'm kind of just deepening up the outer v and i'm actually making it into a v so i'm following right here and then i'm going up with it and then making sure i blend it out okay so i'm using the makeup revolution conceal and define concealer in a c10 so i'm going to use this one for the outer half and blend them together I'm just using my Blend. I'm using here on a BH brush. It's a flat one. So I'm just going to apply this where I don't have any color. Ooh, girl, I'm looking snatchity, snatch, 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 snatched. Okay. okay. I'm using some of this Airspun Natural Neutral Powder to set my under eye. Okay. So I'm gonna grab my sponge. Mm hmm. I'm up. This is how my eyes look. Nothing okay, too fancy. you cute, you cute. Um, Let me see. Dang, that's cute. I like that red. Just totally red. screwed up my brow, guys. Look at this. <laughs> These are the Ardell wispy ones, I think. So this is what I real life do because I'm so oily. I have to like press this powder and let it bake. Like I have to do this. If not, I'll be an oily mess throughout the day. I have not done eyeliner in forever, so I don't know how this is going to go. Ooh. I'm going to use this setting powder by Bare Minerals in Camel 17 with this huge brush that is the JH01 brush. One of my favorite setting brushes ever. I'm just going to, I lightly just kind of press wherever I haven't set. Okay, so I'm going to add some bronzer. I'm going to use this Anastasia bronzer and it's from her contouring kit and this is Copper Brown. It's JH02 brush. Hey, my eyeliner. Just going to let my eyeliner dry. Okay, I'm going to contour my nose real, real quick because it needs a little bit of contouring um, i'm using the nyx highlight contour pro palette and i'm gonna go in with this more neutral shade and then maybe with a little bit of this darker line if i need it if i don't then i need to call myself before i go into that shade okay i use this little brush and kind of just go in circular motions very very lightly and try to create this contour okay sometimes i suck at contour sometimes i'm like girl you don't can't contour because i really can't i suck at it I'm going to go in with the mugshot shade on my bottom lash line first and kind of blend that everywhere. Um, and then I'm going to go in with the darkest red that I use, which is this one, after. I'm just going to let my eyelashes dry and then I'm going to curl them with an eyelash curler to blend them in with my real lashes and then apply some mascara. Um, I'm using the Baked Blush by Wet n Wild. I'm not sure if this is available. One of my favorite freaking blushes ever. Grab a little bit of that. I'm using the JH06 brush to apply that on my cheekity cheek cheek cheek. So I'm going to move to my lower lash line. And for an everyday look, I love to use this e.l.f. Uh, Matte for Matte eyeshadow palette in Summer Breeze. So it has like those natural colors Ooh, so yeah, I like that I'm going brown one right here and then I think I'm going to move on to this purple one and then blend it all out with a little bit of black maybe go into this limited edition so I don't think it's available anymore but um, it's a butter collection palette and I am using this highlighter right here which is highlighter in full moon I'm not sure if they have this one like um, available like in a single thingy 
but I love it, so I'm gonna use it. I don't think I'm gonna use the black, but I think I'm gonna go in to the Jaclyn Hill palette, the purple glitter one right here, which is their royalty one. I'm just gonna go in with a really neutral lipstick. Um, this is 235 Warm Me Up by Maybelline, I believe. I'm using the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. Favorite highlight ever. I also love their bronzer, but I ran out and it's super expensive. But this is the Physician's Formula Butter Highlight in Champagne. And then my brow bone, if I'm feeling it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so whenever we're little, mm -hmm. I think me and Kat, I don't remember Kayla. <laughs> I really don't. I feel like Kayla was just like in the background. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I would always get her in trouble. I knew that. Like I would always take her to take the blame because she was the baby. Mm -hmm. And like my parents wouldn't get her in trouble as much as like us, the older ones, because she was the baby. You know how privileged the babies are. So like... I would always tell her, like, please take the blame. They're not going to hit you as hard as me. They're not going to discipline you. <laughs> and she would always do it. <laughs> she would always hold it against me. Always. So I'm using the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Blush in the collar. In the collar. In the collar. In the color 40 bronze. I have a hair. It looks like this. Smile a little bit. I'm going to be using what Leslie is. Cute. Is this one mine? I think so. Okay, so we will be back with our finished complete looks. Um, I'm just gonna straighten my hair. Not sure what I'm gonna wear, but I'll show you guys. Look at how cute your hair looks like that. I like it like that. It looks like ruggy. Like we're so different. Look at this. <laughs> I have food in my mouth. You see that right there? Ew. Brush your teeth. I ended up straightening my entire hair. It already got kind of like curly and frizzy my hair can never straight stay straight straight and it can never stay curly curly so it's just it's just in between all the time and i ended up wearing this dress from h&m and it was nine dollars well, it was ten dollars so it's a long sleeve and it kind of goes up and it's also a mini dress it goes right above let me also pair this with some booties i just straightened my hair as well just because it's super short i can't really do anything with it outfit i just went very casual i went with this lined um shirt from H&M? Target. Target. And it has this little ruffle thing right here that I think is really cute. I also went with some black high-waisted pants that I cannot show you guys. <laughs> She's so I'm not wearing, wearing them. them anymore. <laughs> and But they're from H&M. And I went with some black high-top Converse as my shoes. And that was pretty much all. Okay, guys. So that is it for our video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys liked it. And don't forget to give this a thumbs up. Subscribe. And push the notification bar. Bell. Oh. The notification bell. You'll be notified, notified for new videos. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.